in this question it is given that a car will hold two persons in the front seat and one in the rear seat okay if among six persons only two can drive then the number of ways in which car can be filled we need to figure out okay so what is the situation in this particular question a car has two front seats and one back seat right this one seat will be filled by driver and in total how many persons do we have six out of which how many drivers do we have two drivers we have so one person out of these two will sit in driving seat so in how many ways we can fill this driving seat to see one ways i'm selecting one person one driver actually out of these two drivers right so now one this this particular driving seat is gone and how many persons do we have right now one is gone six are there so five persons are remaining persons and how many seats do we have one is front seat and second one is back seat so five person two seats will be filled so two persons will need to select out of these five and arrange them as well right so here what i'm going to do is i have to arrange five persons in two vacant seats which can be done by 5p two ways yes so finally the final answer of this particular question would be what two multiply two multiply two c1 is what two two multiply 5p2 and if you solve this what would you get 2 multiply 5 factorial by 3 factorial which will be equal to what 5 fours are 20 20 multiply 2 which is 40 that means clear cut option d is the correct answer got it in this question it is given that there is a group of 5 boys and n girls it is given that if the number of ways in which a team of 3 students can randomly be formed from this group such that there is at least one boy and at least one girl in each of the team and that number is 1750 then we are interested in the value of n okay so total how many students are there 5 plus n out of which five boys are there and n girls are there as per the question out of these five boys and n girls we need to make a team of three students such that each team will contain how many boys at least one boy and at least one girl right and that number is 1750 so there will be exactly two cases the first case or second case first case says i'll select one boy and two girls exactly one boy exactly two girls because i have to select team of 3 right second case says i have to select two boys this time but one girl only these two case yes then only we'll be able to say there is at least one boy and at least one girl and remember we need to select the team we don't need to arrange it we just need to select it are you getting my point selection means combination combination means c right so first case says one boy two girl so how many boys are there five we need to select one boy out of five five c1 and and we need to select two girls out of this n girls so nc2 this is first case so first case or second case isn't it either first case will happen or second case will happen that means a positive sign because or is involved right now second case similarly says two boys so five boys are there two boys we need to select 5c2 and at the same time multiplication one girl we need to select so nc1 n girls one girl we need to select so nc1 right so this will be equal to what 1750 right total ways of forming a team of three members under given condition will be what this 5c1 multiply nc2 plus 5c2 multiply nc1 and that is equals to 1750 now we just need to solve this particular equation which we have already done right before we have done this uh, kind of question so 5c1 is 5 nc2 is n n minus 1 by 2 plus 5c2 5c2 is 5 factorial by 2 factorial 3 factorial isn't it so this is what 10 right so 10 multiply n which is equals to 1750 right if you take lcm you'll get a quadratic equation just like this n square plus 3n is equals to 
Now we just need to solve this quadratic equation to get the value of n, right? So let's split. This 700 can be split into 28 multiply 20. 5 such that difference of these two is what? 3, right? So if we split the quadratic equation in two linear factors, we are going to get n plus 28 multiply n minus 25, which is equals to 0, which gives me n is either minus 28, which we are going to reject for sure, n cannot be negative. That simply means we are only left with n is equals to 25. So number of girls in this question is option B. In this question, it is given that there is a group of R boys, which is to be formed from 9 boys. The value of r we need to figure out for which we get the maximum number of different groups. Yes. So let's begin. Now we already know that how to select r things from 9 things by r and 9 CR, isn't it? NCR or 9 CR. So r boys can be selected from 9 boys in 9 CR ways. Now this 9 CR, this 9 CR would be maximum if and only if r is equals to n minus 1 by 2 or n plus 1 by 2 because here n is equals to 9 which is nothing but odd. Yes, that's the formula. This r would be what? n minus 1 by 2 or n plus 1 by 2. So that would be what? Either 9 minus 1 by 2 or 9 plus 1 by 2 will be equals to r. So r is what? Either 4 or 5, isn't it? So, there are two values, either 4 or 5. That means option B and C are the correct ones. Easy question, isn't it? In this question, we need to figure out the number of ways in which 5 A's and 6 B's can be arranged in a row which reads the same backwards and forwards. Okay. So, we have 5 A's and 6 B's. For a word to be read same, Backward and forward, the middle letter must be A. Yes, the middle letter, middle letter is this. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 on the left of A and 5 on the right of the A. This is the middle position and that must be A. So, understand if this is not A, let us suppose if this is B. Then what will happen? Then 1 B is gone. So, how many letters do we have? 5 A and 5 B are there. Right? And in that... The arrangement of the first five letter will be exactly reverse as the last five letters. That means the numbers should be even. If I am having 2A on the left hand side, then I must have 2A on the right hand side. So for this particular situation, if B is on the middle, 5A and 5B both are odd. So if I place A over here, then 4A would be left. Right? Out of 5, 1 is gone in the middle. 4a would be left. And 6b are already there. Now, this is even. So, even number of a's and even number of b's are available. And we need to arrange it. Okay? So, 4a and 6b. So, 2a will be on the left hand side of this a. And 2a on the right hand side. Right? So, 2a are on the left hand side. We are arranging things on left hand side first. And 3b will be on left hand side, 3B on the right hand side, 2A and 3B we need to arrange in this particular 5 position. That would be done by how many ways? 5 factorial by 2 identical A, so 2 factorial, 3 identical B, so 3 factorial, right? Now once I place 2A and 3B such that A, B, A, B, B. One such arrangement. I am considering one such arrangement, okay? Now as per the question, the word reads the same backward and forward that simply means that automatically this b would be over here i have no right to select what is there on this position isn't it this b would be over here right we are taking the mirror image exactly about this point a similarly this a will be on the third position right and this b Okay, this is A. And this B will be here. And last, this A would be here. Automatic arrangement on these last five places would be there once I arrange the first five position. So, first five position will give me my answer, which if you solve will be equal to what? 5 multiply 4 by 2. That is equal to 10. So, answer of this particular question is just 10. Got it?